How long does it burn for? Oh, a couple minutes. No. Hello everyone, from Rock Solid Gaming, I'm Brady Godden, and you're watching The Hot Seat, where we put our guests through a series of wings to see how hot they can really handle. This show is presented and brought to you by Rock Solid Gaming and sponsored by Rocketeer Treats and Winging It. Check them both out to satisfy your spicy and sweet cravings. Without further ado, I am here with a guest. He is a family man, he's a friend of ours, and he used to be a streamer, Mr. John Hyde. How's it going, man? John, welcome to the show, man. Thanks, pal. What Good you to have you here, bro. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to come here, man, yeah, and uh, and do this show. First off, how are you with spicy food? I can eat it, man. I can do it. I'm not, you I'm think not, so? I'm not a pussy, man. You're, You're not a pussy? pussy? No, fair, man. fair. So what's going to happen, we're going to eat the wings from this side to this side, going from not hot to extremely hot, okay? okay. Yeah. The 10 sauce is no fair death, sponsored by the winging it themselves. So the first one we're going to do is called Stubbs. Okay. It's a 5,000 Scoville units, so it's not too hot. But uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. All right, man. Fuck Start the journey. Cheers on the weekend. Cheers, bro. bro. Start this journey. I'm also really hungry. Are you really? Mm-hmm. I've been saving it for it. I had chicken off right on the parking. Did you? Yeah. A lot of chicken? Yeah, not too bad, man. I'm a, not a big fucking ch chicken lover. I don't, can I curse? Yeah, bro, you can curse. Okay, man. I That's fine. I don't know if this is like don't say too out of pocket. <laughs> That's why I only have one beer. <laughs> Can't be a loose cannon. Nope. Nope. So yeah. Also, the spice here just tastes like barbecue sauce, man. Like, what? Well, it's just Stubbs, man. Stubbs is a great brand. They have a few. They have an original. They got sweet and hot. They got spicy. Really good sauce, man. Okay. What do you think? I'm okay with it. Let's go, eh? Yeah, man. What are you sipping on there? What am I sipping on? Yeah. I don't know. What is this? Blue Star. Blue Star. Blue Star. Newfie Classic, right? Eh? Oh, man. Nice. Love it. So, yeah, man. Tell me about yourself. I'm 35 years old. Okay. I work with the city, man. So, like you're doing what? I'm a garbage man. Nice. And it's funny. Okay. When I used to play Call of Duty with Albert, they used mm -hmm. to call me the garbage man. Why? Because I'm used to fucking carrying trash all day. <laughs> you think you think they're trash? Oh, 100%. Yeah? You're better than Alb? I had to carry him fuck my whole childhood, man. For those that don't know, him. Alb is the owner of RSG. I got toxic, man. He's a childhood friend. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. That's the guy, man. That's, That's the, the guy. guy. That's the guy. So you, have, you got any kids? One kid. Seven. One kid? Seven? How old? What's his name? Owen. Owen? Cool shit, man. Cool, man. He's cool. in the game and he's in the Mario. He's uh plays a little bit of Overwatch. Right now? Mom's not home. PC? Oh, yeah. yeah nice, yeah. man. We don't, we don't That's freaking dope. Shit, man. That's dope. Yeah, it's cool, man. So you're going to get him involved in streaming, too? Yeah, maybe someday, maybe man. So. He says he wants to be a YouTuber, so mm. you never know, man. Throw him on there, man. See what happens. Oh, yeah, you know, but I, I gotta, I gotta, get him, gotta get him worked into it, right? You can't throw him in the yeah, deep man. end because internet's no. a scary place at times, you Freaking know? right it is, bro. So, we're working there. Freaking right. Internet is a scary place. Oh, dude, man. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, we'll get into this one here now. This is Chipotle Rebel. Okay. It's the same as this one here, but this one is the mild version. Once we get up here, you'll see what I mean. So, this one is 7,000 Scoville units. Okay. Not too, too bad. Okay. We'll get into that right now. All right, okay. It'll get, it'll get bad once you got up there. I gotta say, though, these wings are good, man. Yeah, man. Winging it makes a bomb wings. These are really fucking mm -hmm. good wings. So what's up with the eyes? My eye? You know shit? I need to know, man. What's going on with the eyes? How come we got two different eyes? Well, I was born with two different colored eyes. Really? Mm-hmm. When I was first born, it was all yellow. It's this one, right? Yeah. I forget <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was all yellow. And this was all blue. Okay. Over time, it went to half yellow, half blue. And now it's half brown, half blue. Well, like, Crazy, what's the, what's, the what's the reasoning? Like, it's just a pigment thing? It's just born like it, man. So you're like a fucking werewolf or something? What's up with that? Yeah, maybe like, so, man. I might be a secret werewolf. You never know. I don't fucking know, man. You never know. Were you born in Labrador? No. But I'll tell you a funny story, though. My nan thought I was blind. Really? When I come out of the womb, she thought I was blind. She, like, freaked out. Yeah? Well, like I said, because it was half yellow. Not blue, you can imagine. Yeah, that's weird. Right? Yeah. I came out ass first. My mom thought I was an asshole. Ass first? Yeah, uh, shit never. And is that normal or not? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably breach, I think. Or I don't fucking know it's normal. It's not cool. It's I've never been through a delivery before. No? Dude. I'm not going to say it's sick. I enjoyed it. Why? Wow, through a delivery? Oh, you know, my baby? I lost my son. I guess, yes, that's true. Yeah. It's a good experience, but is it really sick? 
I didn't find a bear, man. The worst no. is the placenta. That's the worst of it. Oh, we don't get weak slowly. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> oh, that was cool, man. <laughs> I was watching the whole thing. They thought I was crazy. The doctor was like, you're not weak. I was like, I told the girl I was waiting outside. Yeah. <laughs> well, the wife didn't know. Wasn't she had the baby happy. and passed out right away. So she was, yeah, it was crazy. Not a pain. Yeah, just a long day, man. She was epidural and shit. Oh, I'd say, man. I'm really milking this wing house. Eat it all. That's what you're there for. So, hot scale, not too bad yet. No, that's not. Nah, this one here, I think it's 15,000 skull, but we'll get into that now in a second. But uh, you streamed, yeah. right? Yes. What, uh, what made you stop? What made me stop? As a father, and as somebody who tries to devote as much time as I can to my son. Of course. And work in, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a really big family man, because I worked away yeah. for many years, not home with my family. Mm -hmm. Got home, had a son, give up working away. So it was more like I really wanted to focus on him. Yeah, fair, fair. And not so much on putting as much time into streaming and stuff, yeah. because my son has ADHD, so he's very... Uh, hyper? Hyper, and he's, he's, really, he's really into me, because like... I've worked on myself over the years to become a better person to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. Because growing up, I was a bit of a short fuse, and as you know, ADHD children are they're, they're yeah. a lot, they're hyper. Oh yeah. So I really worked on myself, and just to be a better person to deal with him. Nice and, man. Uh, just I never had the time to to focus on me and yeah. streaming and him and the wife. So That's I just fair, kinda, yeah, you know, it's, streaming is takes a lot out of you too. It's a lot of yeah. extra hours, and especially if you want to go like big with it, with the editing and the yeah. making thumbnails and the staying connected with your community and doing all this stuff all the time. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's a, a lot of work, man. And you know, but you're but you're fortunate. You got a great community behind you. Got our oh, team. Yes, you man. got the guys. You got you know, you got NL over there. You got all the lads, man. You guys got it going on. Dude's so. the goat, man. He's the goat. Dude's the goat. We're actually in his studio right now. Yeah, man. Incredible friend, let us use this, hey. Oh man. Nice no, little no. spot, hey. Yes. So the next one. Is Jalapeno, Jalapeno. as Mister as Mister Al would call it. Um, but actually, we we did do an episode, uh, and and this was one of the favorites. Okay. So cool. I'm hoping he liked it, man. I got his question. Drums. Hundred percent drums. You don't even, you don't even know what I was gonna ask. I don't even, I don't need it. Drums or flash? You're hundred percent drums. drums. More meat. That's almost. I don't I don't like picking through the bones. No, no, you gotta like push it out. Yeah. Mm. Like, to be honest, I'm boneless. Don't even fucking start. You're boneless, man? Yeah, man. You ever heard of boneless chicken before? What would be a boneless chicken wing? Yeah. No, man. It's what is it? It's a chicken strip. It's tender. It's a chicken strip. It's a tender. A few inches later. Oh, man, I can't get behind it. <laughs> <laughs> big guy, man. What kind of guy asks for boneless wings? Ah, it's just not messy. Okay, I feel it. I understand. Sometimes you don't want to get messed, right? Uh, I never got this size. I'm not making a mess. Fair. Fair. You're not big, man. You're in great shape. Built for comfort, not for speed. Nothing wrong with it. The hotness scale, not bad. No. That was, no. That was not bad. I actually really enjoyed the flavor of that it's, one. That's what I'm saying. That's a good one. Really Our last guest loved it. Loved it. That was good. But after that, we get into some more spicy stuff. So, going on to the next wing, I was told the story. I was showing a clip, actually. I'm not sure if production can show a clip or a post or whatever. Of you behind a garbage truck getting absolutely riddled with some kind of uh, soot or dust. Yeah. Break it down. Well, what a lot of people do is like when they clean out their, their wood stoves. Yeah. They like throw it in a bag and then they throw it out for the garbage. So when, when the compactor pushed it in. Yeah. The fucking thing just like blew up. It just blew up in your face. I didn't know what it was, man. I was like, what is, what's going on? Because I seen a clip and you were just surrounded by smoke. Oh my God, dude. I turned around. I or thought so. a bomb went off. I didn't know, right? So then I like. But dude, I watched the clip. You just walked away slowly. Oh. It's, oh. Like, it's like an action movie. Like the thing went off and you just like turn around and just walk. Cool guys don't look at explosions, man. Fair. Fair, right? Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah I had to throw the cover. Well, day. That, that's not even the worst part. I threw out the coveralls after because yeah. I couldn't get back in the truck. I had like a hundred bucks in the pocket. No way. So I dumped the truck, got back to the yard, and I was like, oh shit. I lost a hundred bucks, so I had to go back down to the landfill, try and find my coveralls to get my hundred dollars. <laughs> that sucks. Pick and drool. <laughs> man. On top of getting covered in soot. Oh yeah. Is that what it was, soot? Yeah, it was just like yeah, Something like soot, that. Soot, yeah. Something like that. So that one we just had, someone called again, pepper north. So we got a few pepper north lined up. Okay. That's salsa roja and ghost. So can these be bought locally? Like if I decide to go Yes. Buy? Oh yeah. Okay. It was would you buy any of these? Right now, I really I seen I think I seen this one at Costco that heart piece. Yep. 
I really Scorpion. like that jalapeno one, jalapeno, sorry. The heartbeat is great sauces. Yeah, we got one really coming good. up here now, very soon. Garbage man, family man, you got a wife? Yep. How long you guys been together? 15 years. 15? Yeah, man. Since married how long? Never, not married. Not married? We're waiting. Uh, I proposed to her before COVID hit. Yes, but. And uh, we're low key people, man. We're not like, we're not out in the spotlight. We're not. No. So I, I As you say that, her, under the spotlight. Under the spotlight, right? right. No, nope, proposed to her man at home and uh, try to keep it personal. Yeah. The way she likes it. Mm. Thanks, pal. And uh, so then COVID hit and everything. And then we were going to have a wedding and stuff. And now I don't know. We might kind of keep it low key and yeah, I might yeah. invite some family friends like Albert, maybe. A little a backyard thing. No, I, I would like to go down south and celebrate. Oh, yeah. Like like a party yep. and whatnot and everyone enjoy themselves because that's kind of the way I am. Like, I like to have yeah. fun. I'm kind of, you know, just oh, hell yeah. like, carry on. Now, I'm getting married as well oh, next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mean to like cut oh, you off no, or nothing. Give it that. But I'm getting married next year too. And, uh, and I'm only bringing it up because you said down south. Yeah. We looked at down south weddings, man. It's expensive as hell. Yeah. Like, like 15k kind of like 20k yeah. for like 10 people yeah plus yourself yeah it's a lot of money man well the thing i was thinking and, they, and that's not including tickets like no. that's not including your guest tickets that's just well, like well you know the way you got to look at it man is like you go and rent a spot here and you do all this all this stuff man mm. it's just like i'd much rather go down with my buddies and friends oh, sit yeah. on a beach man and yeah. get you know, you can have shitter and hammer. roll around in the yep. sand and get shitty sunburns. Yeah. Watch Albert not know how to put on suntan. So you would bring, you'd invite Albert? Oh my God, yes. Sweet. Sweet. Oh Sweet. You God. guys, you guys tight? I don't know. How, how long have we, like, I've known him my whole life. Huh? Probably fine. like 10? Grade 8. Is it, is it really grade 8? So you guys went to school together? No. I was friends with one of his friends. And we never even knew each other. We didn't like each other. For whatever reason, then we met and we were supposed to have a big fight at the time. What? Like yeah, meet up for a yeah, scrap? Yeah, like no we were way. gonna meet up for a scrap. And then we met each other and we were like, "Hey man, what's up?" What? And yeah, we were kids, like you know. That's kids. sick. And me yeah. and him were like, "Hey man," and then we just hit it off and we played games. Like me and him were always it was called Infantry Online. That mm -hmm. was probably our biggest. What was game. it? Infantry Online. It was through Sony. It was an older game. Old just school a PC, PS PC game. Yeah. But yeah, no, that was a that was a big deal for me. And yeah, then, man. Uh, yeah, you know, like I've been I've been gaming PC gaming since. A game. Like, ever nice, since man. I could walk, my dad was into computers, and that's just... Deadly. So this one we get into, 67, 61,000 Scoville. Okay. The next one is a little bit 67. It's not too different. Okay. But this one's a good one. Okay. I think this is the blueberry one, right? Yes, blueberry. It's scorpion. Let me know what you think. Getting into the spicier stuff now, though. Yeah, it's really bad. But this is, like, something you'd order. Yeah. Like, it's you're going, you're going to wing it. What do you order? What about, oh, man, be honest with you. I'm a big fan of honey garlic. Mm -hmm. Amelia Earhart. Yes, man. Roasted red yeah, pepper. You got it. Roasted red pepper and honey garlic, bro, delicious. Yeah, big fan of, big fan of honey garlic, man, gotta say. Dirty Bomb. Uh, you ever heard that one? They're okay. Barbecue and dill. Yes, yes. That's Dirty Bomb, bro. I like maple wings, too. I don't know what it is. I like it. Like I think there's one called... Booga or something. Booga. Maple maple ooga or something like that. <laughs> I wing it. I don't know what it's called, bro. It's something maple. I haven't been up there in a while, man. Just when everything on the go and uh, Yeah. Just I don't I don't go out a lot anymore. Like the restaurants and such. It's expensive, man. Inflation. Inflation. It's crazy. Man. Man. Just inflation. Just, what? Just inflation by. What are you referring to? I don't know we gotta get in politics here. Just can get into a little bit. Justin Trudeau by Justin. Oh inflation. okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nah, man. We won't get into it too much. Nah, but I hear you. Nah, nah, nah. I hear you. I'm not big on it. No. Um, Let me ask you a question. How's your streaming going? How are you doing with it? It's good, bro. Yeah? It's good. So are you on Kick now? Are you still on Facebook? Facebook. Okay. Well, like, I uh, I had to take a hiatus because I went to college full time, two okay, years. cool. And when I went to college, at the same time, I kind of got this part-time gig with the job, right? Okay. So me being stupid, I didn't realize how much time this would take. So I'm in college, I'm in a part-time job, and I'm streaming. Yeah. And it all just came on top of me, bro. Like, because I just thought I'd had more time, and I'd never. Yeah. So I had to go on a hiatus. I uh, took, what, freak, man, six, seven months off streaming. Yeah. But I, I'm back. I stream like two or three times a week, yeah. and the community is still strong. That's good, man. And now we got the show. So, I mean, everything's going good. I'm graduating. I'm done. What you, what you do? 
Executive office management. That sounds important. Yeah. Cool, man. It's just a glorified administration position. Hey, man. man. Sounds yeah, but the title, the title is nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a two-year course. I got my ceremony on June 7th. Okay. I'm right. looking forward to it, man. Yeah, man. Looking Congratulations, forward to it. Dude. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That's Thank a big you. accomplishment, man. School's, yeah. school's not easy. No. I did uh, heavy equipment. A lot of sleepless school. nights, man. A lot of being up late and stuff like that. You know dude. what I mean? Well, you got to grow it, man. That's, and, and I mean... A lot of people too don't understand the sacrifice that comes with, you know, trying to it's be successful. Lot. It's, it's a lot, lot, man. It's not just wake up and you just sit in front of a computer and, and turn on the power. Oh, streaming, button and stream, right? Streaming like, is not. It's not just it's, that. It's not. It's not easy. And then, like you say, I mean, you got to have a job to support that while you're doing yep. it. And then yep. you got to try and, like you say, you got to make your Instagrams, your TikToks. And oh yeah. This. Now I was fortunate enough to be able to do it full time. Yes. For a yeah. couple of years, anyways. Yeah. But right now I'm working manager of a vape shop. Okay. Cool. Yeah, man. What's your vape shop? What's it called? Hollow Noggin. Shout out. Okay. You know Hollow Noggin? No idea. No? You don't vape though. You don't smoke, nothing like that. I used to vape and I used to smoke and I give all of it up. Good spy. Good for you. Cold turkey? Oh, cold turkey for a little nice, fellow, man. Bro. That's yes, an example. Bro. Of course. This one is not too hot compared to this one because there's only a 61K Scoville and a 67K Scoville. Okay. But it is a good sauce though. Pepper North makes great sauces, man. I gotta say, every one of them is fantastic. They've been good, hey? Huh? Yeah, man. Now, when we were doing testing, I tried all these individually. Okay. And it was different. Yeah. On a wing, it's totally different, man. Totally yeah, you're different. Get, you're, getting the... you're getting that chicken, that breaded, that fucking, you know what I mean? Do you ever watch how they make chicken wings? No. I mean, I'm sure it's... I mean, I worked at Country Inn for five years. You never? Yeah, why did you? No. No, I did. Must have been sad, was it? No. Like, like you did mine. I, did, I didn't do the whole barren thing. So it's like broke up into sections. Oh, okay. Got so you. like one area does the whole... You know, I don't want to get too graphic, but does the whole hang them up and get them. And, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, another section is like, you know, it's graphic regardless how you look at it, to be honest. But yeah, yeah I worked there for five years, man. I actually got a forklift gig over there. Really? It was wicked, man. Cool, man. Wicked. But, anyways, yeah, I do sort of know how they bread the chicken and how they get the chicken yeah, and stuff like that. No, it's cool, man. Right, I got an idea. My little fella, he's very, he's very, uh, he likes knowing how things work in the process. Mm -hmm. He's going to be like a, a builder. Like, like, he likes a, taking things apart. I think he's the engineer path, yeah. So he likes watching. Believe it or not, you remember that show, How It's Made? I love it. So Great I have show. to PVR how it's made. Really? And he has to watch every week. For a seven-year-old son? Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. wow. He's really good with numbers and stuff. He's mm -hmm. fantastic. That does one. good in school. Yeah, but he has like with ADHD, he has a little bit of mm. uh, a lot of like focusing issues. Yeah. Like he can't sit still, but that's yeah, not, man. he's also seven, right? So oh, yeah. you know what, man? I'm just I just love him. He's just cool, man, and I. But listen, that's that's my world, dude. Freaking awesome, man. It's good stuff. This one's really good. I know. Pepper North is the gear. That's really, really good, good shit, man. Really I, good re shit. I really like that heartbeat one, man. That was fantastic. That's what the last guest said too, man. Um, so the next one we're getting into is gonna be a little bit bigger of a jump. I'm already sweating thinking about really? it, man. Yeah, it's not, none of these were hot though. Like they were hot, but no, no, doable. No, they're doable. doable. That yeah. one, what was the last one we had? We had we had this one here. That one you can kind of feel a little bit. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. not too bad. But it's nothing to wash it down. Oh, no. there's right. just a fucking... Nothing to wash it down. No. All right, let's get into it. So this other one is is, is from the Heartbeat Company as well. Same one with the Dilapino or Jalapeno. Um, I think this one is the Scorpion one, right? Everything is Scorpion. Yeah, but this one is like really, really good. This is one of my favorites on the table. Okay. It, it's, it's delicious. It's got a good taste to it. It's not too, too hot. This is what I would order at a restaurant, for okay. sure. I don't know about anything past that, but this is what I would order. Okay. Yeah. Man. All right. So, you can't talk about your job whatsoever, hey? No. no, no. I, well, I guess I can't. Not even like. Not even like. What if I were to ask you like, what are your, what are some, what are some challenges that you would face? And like, I don't even know any personal stories regarding like people. Just like some challenges. Uh, as a heavy equipment operator, we'll say. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're driving around town. You get a lot of people who don't understand the rules of the road and stuff like that. And, you know, you're. Well, you're operating a truck, but they got the arm out of people walk underneath it. Like okay, so you cars. you do that too. Yes, yeah. So yeah. I got one of them garbage cans that you know they come by, they pick up with the yep. with the yep. and it's like, does that scan it? Yes. So what is that scan it for? To make sure you got your proper can. Why does that matter? What if I bore my next door neighbors? Well, what happens if mine? you lost your can and you robbed somebody's? And then well, what if mine blew away? Well, I guess what it is. Okay, let's say you lost your can. You say you lost it. Yeah. And I'm just gonna say Albert robbed it. Yep. <laughs> He's a thief. <laughs> and I go and we, they can't find your can, but I go and pick up that can. Yep. And it comes up, uh -uh, wrong address. Okay. And then I look and I say, oh, geez, this one's 15 Burry. I'm just throwing a name. 15 yeah, yeah. Burryport. Yeah. 
oh geez, that's the can that was missing. So then they'll bring, they'll return that can to the proper address. Okay. And then that guy who robbed that can because he lost his can is now responsible in order to, to get a new can. That's fair. Right? It's just, it just deters people from robbing shit as long as yeah. it is, right? Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I don't know who has your garbage can out on the road, though. I mean, I hodge mine. Huh. Sort of hodge. It's not really hodge. It pokes away kind of thing. Yeah, but you know, people now, they got a lot of garbage and yeah. they call them up. Maybe someone two cans, but they don't want to pay for them. And, mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those things. That's fair. But it, it happens. It's, uh, I gotta say, it's a good job, man. It gives me time to be with my family and uh, good benefits. Good benefits, man. You get Orange Man's Day off, Flags Man's Day off, whatever else I don't day even you know want. know what holidays they are. Whatever man. other holidays day you right? want off, I like know, you know. Oh yeah, I, uh, with my course, I like to I like to work with government too. Yeah. But I'm trying to get with this Verifin company. They're good man. on Hebron Way. I heard a lot. Of I heard some now. crazy stories about these guys, man. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it on no. camera, but I heard some crazy ass stories. That was really good. Yeah, but it's hot. Let's get up there. That one's that one's a bit more spicy. I'm certainly feeling it. Yeah, I can see. Oh yeah. You yeah. <laughs> can see it. The face is getting a little red. I have yeah. like half the Take it off, man. Do your thing. That one's certainly spicier. Oh yeah. Now this next one is 180k. What was that one? 200. But sometimes, depending on the pepper that's inside of it, it's a little bit hotter. It's hard to explain. I don't know what it is, but this one tends to be hotter than that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel it. Not sure why. Don't ask me. I don't know. So, like, what made you want to be office admin? Like, what made you take that role? Well, <clears> well, you can do anything, man. Okay. Like, really, I could work at a bank. I could work at. Yeah. I can work government. I can work. I got an elective where I can be a secretary of a school. Yeah. You can right. just do everything, yeah. right? Like, you're doing financing. You're doing. Like, what I learned in school is like financing, uh, filing, uh, typing. Uh, fuck, so much, man. So much. Like how to behave in an office. Okay. There's a lot to it. Would right? you say any of it helped contribute to your streaming career? Do you interview me now? Oh yeah, I'm just asking questions. That's man. a good question. Yeah. Uh to a point, I mean not really. No? Not really. Nothing in that like you took from it was like, hey, I can probably apply that to maybe make it a bit more better for my stream or nothing like that. Any like I mean maybe maybe level? using bit better words and like talking more fluent and more emphasized. Okay. But I mean, to be honest, man, when I, the, the first day I went streaming, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was like an instinct, but I just lost my my accent right away. It's like, <laughs> dude, as soon as I went live, I like would pronounce my words better. I would not slur. I would not, you know, talk fast. Yeah. I'd slow my speech. So that all came just instinctively, okay. right? But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. No. That it carried over, nah. What about yourself? Like, I guess you're, you stopped. Are you ever going back streaming? I'm thinking about. I think about it some days. Maybe like once or twice a week. Like. My son's getting a bit older. Believe it or not, funny story. I don't know if anybody here knows. I was actually with Albert when he decided to come up with RST. We were actually in the basement. This boy. And we talked cool. about it. We were there, and he brought up the idea, and I told him to go for it and stuff like that. And uh, I was starting to get into streaming at the time, but like I said, it's just. So you're an OG. Well, yeah, we were there. I was, I was, I was part of the discussion and stuff, and I, and I gotta say, I'm really proud of him where he came from yeah. and like the work. Like, there's not, there's not a fella it, that I know works as hard as that. Workhorse, workhorse. Don't care. There's nobody here that can do the hours that man can do. I know. I don't know and about it. that's kind of what made me uh, a little bit more sad with myself that I give it up because I couldn't, as much as I wanted to work harder to get into it. Yeah. It was just with the time and stuff. I just oh, yeah. I couldn't do it. And then I see him do really well, and I'm like, man, I wish I had that kind of drive. But for me, just right now, it's just like the cars didn't line up. So like, yeah. I'm super proud of him. I mean, coming from like being kids together to watch him to where he's to now, mm -hmm. and his wife, and the cameras, right. and his wife right. is doing fantastic. It's just full studio, full of cameras. Yeah, the man's, man, the man's it's one of those things. Fun. It's like you get the feel good, you know. And like, yeah. I'm the type of guy that I, I really try, <laughs> and and. and you know, make people feel good when they're doing good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and there's a lot more of that that needs to happen. And people mm -hmm. in, in communities such as streaming or whatever you're doing, there's a lot of negativity of people putting other people down or trying to yeah, step over them. And 100%. I think, I think that's one thing that RSG has down is that you guys all build each other up and try to yep. make a community. Yep. And that's what I think is going to make Thank everything you, work out, man. That's awesome, You bro. guys are just, you know, fantastic. Yeah, man. Guy. Thanks, brother. I remember when I first got asked to be an RSG, man. I was streaming on Facebook. I was in my room, and I, like, I, I remember when I first came on my computer, man. And I, like, I don't know. It's just crazy, like, to see how far everything's come along. Like three or four years later, like, I got a notification on my phone there uh, last week, and it was from four years ago. And I was doing a 24-hour stream, and it's like, damn, bro, that was four years ago. Really? And here we still are doing this shit. 
Making content Amazing. is sick. It's sick. Well, I remember I played a Fortnite tournament with Albert. One of his first tournaments, me and him were partners. Oh, was that, like, was that RSG affiliated? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and, uh, me and him were on a team, and I literally got killed by Shroud. He was in our lobby. What? <laughs> yeah, man. I was like. Skill based matchmaking. Oh, yeah. At his it was, best. It was fine. At his so best. So me and right? him were there, and I think I was like building up a platform, and I was going, and like, nobody in the right mind would no. ever even attempt this shot. I get headshotted, so I go back and look at the cam. Yeah. Shroudy Rowdy or Rowdy Shroudy. Yeah, that's what his name was back then. Yeah, I remember that. And I was like, you fucking kid. This guy had to be in this lobby? Like, are you kidding me? I, I always found Fortnite never had a good skill based matchmaking. No, no. I mean, games nowadays don't anyways. But that game, I think they absolutely crushed it. It changed yeah. the whole, the whole. The well, whole like Fortnite put battle. Like I know Battle Royale was around yeah. prior to Fortnite. Yeah. Like you had H1Z1. I think Arma or, or whatever it was called. Arma was the name. And I think that was the original. Arma was, I don't know if you know what that is, but H1Z1 was a game and Arma was before that. And then Fortnite Pu came out. No, PUBG came out before Fortnite. Yes. And then PUBG, because yes. Albert was trying to get me into it forever. Come on. And I was like, I'm not playing that. Sorry, I got to eat a wing. Dig in, bro. And uh, I couldn't get into PUBG, but then I got into Fortnite. I got pretty good at it for a while. Yeah, yeah. I used to be a build master. I'd say a build master, but yeah. I mean, I was good. I was good at it. And then Hamlins and all them guys came into it. They could just fucking yeah. go like that. I can't, man. I'm too old. With the keyboard. Man. Yeah, man. Just smashing buttons, building towers. I don't know. Couldn't do it. So bro, I just... why is this one so hot? It's different, right? Yeah, it hits different. <laughs> so, funny story. When I got my PC, I thought I'd be really good at playing keyboard and mouse. Why is this hot? Because <laughs> it's, not, it's not intentional. You fuck, you, you guys pranking me here? No, man. That's only 180K. Don't talk about it. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't want to hear numbers anymore. We're not, we're not in school right now. We're not doing business. I don't want to hear numbers. Just eat it. Just eat it. And hope for the best. Why is it hot? I'm gonna be a bitch. I'm gonna be a pussy. I mean, you can tap out. I'm not tap out. You fucking kidding me? You can tap out if you want. You'll just be the guy that tapped out. I'm gonna take a little sip of milk, man. Yeah, man. Well, that's why we have it there. It's weird. Like, that's what I'm saying, right? When we did research online, this was 200K, this is 180. But it's something about this one that it must hits. Be the pepper. It could be what's in it, right? The ingredients. That one hits. Now your mouth's on fire. <coughs> you can feel that one. Oh yeah, for sure. So as we bite into this next one, do you ever think about getting a new job? Like you're gonna get you're gonna get out of the garbage thing with the government. You're gonna you're gonna look to retire with these guys. Like I'm sure the pension's good, all that stuff. You know, it's one of those things. I don't know where I want to be. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to do. Make those kind of decisions when you got a family, people who depend on you. First, that's the scary thing too, right? The, like financially wise, it's scary. Well, you know, nobody who doesn't take a risk doesn't make it, right? You, sometimes you just gotta jump and yep, yep. hopefully you, you float, right? 100%. But I don't know where I wanna be, man. I don't know. Uh, You're 30, how old? 35, 35 right? you said? So you still got another what? 25, 30 years left to go. I know, I know. I just, as I'm saying that, I'm like, he probably don't wanna hear that. It's, uh, yeah, oh man, hold on, man, that is <laughs> Is it hot? That, man, I'm fucked. I'm doing it though. That's that, why is that hot? That's like, how come this one wasn't that? Just wait, just, yeah. It's not, that's not, we'll get into this one in a second. We'll just get this out of the way. You ready for it? Okay, sure. You ready for it? Let's do it. So this one's a 1.5 million. So realistically, if you put in the numbers, it's like seven times hotter. Yeah, that's reasonable. <clears throat> and this one here is is thirty times hotter than what you just had. So like, I'm just trying, who 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 did the math? Like who's? Well, research. We just did research as far as far as like the, the Scoville far... units. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Like, why why didn't we take a reasonable jump? Why did we just fucking go to outer space? <clears throat> I don't know. It's fun. Like you went from like a fucking like like a, a speedboat to a fucking Elon Musk. Like why do we do that? Like why are we why are we doing? Because we're getting to the end. We're getting to the end, bro. Come on, let's do it. One point five mil. Let's go. Shares this one. Let's go. Stupid. But I don't think this one's gonna be as bad because there's something with this sauce. There's something with it. And folks, your mouth your mouth's already numb. Oh, it's already fucked. Right. It's the next one that I'm worried about, personally. 
Here comes the sniffles. That was hot, yeah. I suppose it should be for being 750,000 times hotter or whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> Fucking God here with your great math. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't trust me with math. No. I don't think business is your thing, man. Mm -mm. Not just, for going graduated, just graduated a two-year program. Well, we're going from 180 to 7 million. Like <laughs> 1.5 million. Still a lot. How you doing? I'm hanging in here. But, not, but that one's not as bad, though, is it? Can I get some more napkins? No, it's not bad. Now, listen, bro, you don't have to eat the whole thing, man. If, if I don't want you uncomfortable, I don't want you in too much of a pain. I want you to be able to talk. And I, don't, I, mean, I don't want you to be too uncomfy here. Scared, man. I am scared. Very scared. Why are you scared? Because this one is heavy, heavy duty. Trust, all the production team is waiting for us to eat this. You see how the phone's out? Don't you, Albert, you stop <laughs> fucking grinning. <laughs> Jeff is over. You guys are just setting me up to shit my pants on camera. Well, I'm about to dump my head in this real quick. Chug, chug. Think you can chug it? Mm -mm. No? Dude. <laughs> I'm after like dump my face in this and everything. You just try to scare me the yeah, fuck Yeah, I am, yeah, I am. You ready? Did oh. you ever see yourself sitting down here? Like, you know, when Al first brought it up, like you said, did you ever see yourself sat down in the studio eating wings? No, <laughs> I knew he would get here. <sighs> yeah, man. But I never expected to be here. <sighs> it's kind of a pleasure. It's kind of, we always have a good laugh and stuff like that, but uh, yeah. my mouth is on fire. Let's just get into it. <clears throat> I'm, I, just take a bite and we'll see where it goes. Fuck it. You're shaking, man. You're trembling. Yeah, okay, not, my nose just is like not too up. bad. Not too bad. I'm not taking another. Oh my god. It's not too bad. Let's just give it a second here. I'm gonna go for a second one. Just really casually. I'm okay. No, I'm not doing another one. I'm still okay. That's stupid. It is. I gotta wash my hands off. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> it's a creeper. Why'd you take a second plate for it? It's a creeper, hey? That's stupid. What do you think? Stupid. You don't like it? Stupid. <coughs> <coughs> That's stupid. Is it hot? Hot. Stupid. Uh, NFOD, go check it out. No. It's a lot, hey? It creeps up. Yeah, and it's not even like comfy either. No, it's like my hot. tongue is like burning out of my fucking hand. Yeah. You glad you did this? No. Why? Well, I'm hey, not... look, you, you went on the hot seat, you did it. I'm trembling. Is that set up for us? How's your legs? Look at this camera. Hit him with it. Actually, it's not too bad the second time around. You doing okay? Stupid. That's all I can say. Cheers, bro. You did it. You did it. You did it. Albert, don't ever ask me to do that again. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. How long does it burn for? Oh, a couple minutes. No. I get dizzy and everything. I can't stand. <sighs> I just gotta, just gotta walk it out. That one is hot, man. It's just not even like. Any more milk? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! No! Fill that bitch up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck with seven dollars a jug. Hey, at least you can tell people you tried a five million Scoville. How are you talking? I don't know, man. This is my second time doing this. What's so. wrong with you? This ain't normal. <laughs> <laughs> so your son Owen is going to walk grade. So he's, he's graduating this year. Just hold milk, man. Just hold milk. <laughs> he's what? <laughs> what? Hold milk. Your son's going to walk grade three. Two. He's going to grade two. So, no exams at the end of the year for that? No, nothing like that. 
Just testing my patience. He is testing your patience? That's all he tests, yeah. Okay, that's fair. I remember when I was in grade two, I was going around Heelys. That was the first year Heelys came out, when I was in grade two. I remember everyone in school was using Heelys. We have, we have ripaways. What's that? Is that Velcro shit or something? The buttons on the pants, man. Holy fuck, why is this hot? <laughs> He's breaking another two liter out for you, bro. I hope I don't blow the budget on milk. No, it's all good. Holy fuck, man. If you want to pour this over your head, it'd be great. No, man. Another, dude, That's you're good. I'm gonna, <laughs> you're I'm getting, even drink milk. You're getting your calcium. I guess no. <laughs> it's getting progressively easier to manage. Yeah. You're through the hard part. So now what we do is usually we finish the wing. No. <coughs> and then we'll do the outro. No. You can do the outro. <laughs> you're getting you're in my shot here, Sean. They see enough of you. You're in my shot. Oh man, that is. F I'm like, okay, I can handle it, and then it like kicks me right in the fucking mouth, man. It comes and goes. That's miserable. Yeah, it is very miserable. But we got to thank Winging It though for the amazing sauces and the amazing wings. Thanks. Thank you for the amazing sauce that they provided yes, us. Yes, they 4. did a great 5 job. 4.5 mil. I'm shaking. Like if we were climbing, if we were going up, we're there. Yeah, we're there. It's coming down now though. That's like. We're up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, John. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for coming on, though. I really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, for, you know, taking the hot seat like a champ. You did really good. I I'm sure we'll have more guests that's not going to take it as well, or, you know, they're allowed to tap out. You could have tapped out, but you never. No. Well, thank you very much. We do appreciate that, man. No worries, man. Thank you again to our sponsors, Rocketeer Treats, and uh, Winging It for providing the amazing wings. Thank you guys so, so, so much. If you guys think you want to be on the hot seat, reach out to our staff or our admins over at Rock Solid Gaming. Let us know. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.